بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نو سٹارٹ الواحدۃ الخامسۃ التام و الشنا بدرس التاسع و ثلاثون الحوار الثالث انظر وسطم واحد الزوج دی ہسبینڈ السلام علیکم پیس بی اپون یو الزوج دی وائف وعلیکم السلام اینڈ پیس بی پیس بی اپون یو ٹو الزوج انا جوعان جدا آئی ایم ویری ہنگری الزوج الغداء على المائدة دی لنچیز آن دا ڈائننگ شیٹ الزوج دی ہزبینڈ ما ہازا وٹ از دس سمکن و لحم و دجاج و عرز و سلطت و فاکیحت فش اینڈ میٹ اینڈ چکن اینڈ رائس اینڈ سلیڈ اینڈ فروٹ ہازا کثیر جد This is too much. Az-zawja, the wife. La ta'kul, la ta'kul. Don't eat, don't eat. Ijlis, sit down. Az-zawj, the husband. Limaza, why? Ana jaw'an. I am hungry. Az-zawja, the wife. Ladayna duyuf. We have guest. Az-zawju, the husband. Ladayna duyuf, we have guest. Man, who? Az-zawja, the wife. Walidi, wa walidati, wa akhi. My father and my mother and my brother. Az-zawju, the husband. Aina duyuf, where are the guests? Az-Zawja, the wife, fi gulfatil julus, in the living room. Now, who has the question? She can ask me if anyone has any question. No question, so raise your hand if you want to read. Ms. Tehseen, you are Az-Zawj and Ms. Satya, you are Az-Zawja. Okay, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. Ms. Satya, we can't hear you. I think there is some problem with Ms. Satya microphone. So, Ms. Kinza, you can read if you have microphone. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام انا جوعان جدا I am very hungry الگداو على المائدة The lunch is on the dining sheet ما هذا What is this سمکن و لحم لحم و دجاج و ارز و سلطت و فاکیحت هذا کثیر جدا What is this? Fish and meat and chicken and rice and salad and fruit This is too much لا تاکلو لا تاکلو No, no, this is not this is not taqul. Don't it eat. It is taqul. It has spoon. Okay. Okay. When I order someone, the use the Don't mouth, use spoon. Eat. Don't eat. Eat less. Down. Taqul. Taqul. When we order someone, we don't use simple film, Zari. 
we use sukoon so sukoon is a sign that we are urging someone to do something so here she is preventing him from eating so that's why she is using sukoon la ta'kul la ta'kul sit down Okay, don't eat, don't eat, sit down. Limaza, why? Ana jawanun, I'm hungry. Ladaina duyufun, we have guests. Ladaina duyufun, man, we have guests. Who? Walidi, Bawalidati, Waakhi, my father and my mother and my brother. Aina Duyufu, where are the guests? Fi Gurfatil Julusi in the living room. Does anyone has any question? Okay, next we have Al Wadatul Khamisa, Tamu, Ashara, Badal Sutasi, or Salasu, Al Mufradat, Al Ard, Unzur, Stame, Waid. Miss Saima, you can read this vocabulary. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, I want to say you one thing more. Actually, there's another Saima with the same name. So you better send me a message on WhatsApp with your complete name, okay? Saima Muhammad sir. Yes, you better message me on WhatsApp because we have two Saima and I am okay, confused sir. with Saima in which. Okay. No. Do you phone? Guest? Johan? Uh, thirsty? Hungry. Uh, no, hungry. hungry, hungry, sorry. Hungry. Maida, lunch sheet. Salatatun, salad. Yajlisu, uh, he is sitting. Zawjatun, wife. Zawj, a husband. Dajaj, chicken. Lahman, meat. He's asking you to answer these questions in brief. Like Manil Jawanu, who is hungry for you to Azawju Jawanu. The husband is hungry. So when you will say Azawju, you will not use Alif Lam with Jawan because it will become news. Ayu Wajbatin Al Maida, which meal is on the dining sheet. So you will say Al Wada U Anal Maida. The lunch is on the dining table. Anybody, any question? I think we don't have any question here. So, 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 okay. In the next page, we have a Tadribu Lavar, Uktu Brakama, Wahid Alatami, Warakam Asani, Warakam Asnani, Ala, Ala Sharab. So he's asking you to write one on the food and two on the drink so samak is food so you write one here ma is a drink so you write two here tamar one the jaj one halib two in this way you just write the number here this is your homework he's asking you to join the two opposite words so you join the opposite word like nahif is mean thin skinny so you'll join it with Samin. So in this way, you will join them with each other and upload the picture to Google Classroom. This is also your homework. Now we start our Holy Quran lesson, inshallah. There are some students who have not submitted their Holy Quran homework and Hadith homework. If anyone has any issue, ask me and complete it. Otherwise, you know that we I can't tolerate with homework. I have removed many students who have not submitted their homework. So I will remove the others also if they are not serious with their homework. Homework is necessary thing. If you don't do homework, then this means you are just wasting your time and our time also. So we can't compromise on homework. 
now we have Surah Bakra. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Auz billahi min ash-shaytan ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So you all know the meaning of Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I will just revise it. B mean with ism mean name. Allah mean Allah. Ar-Rahman the most beneficent. Ar-Rahim the most merciful. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. With the name of Allah. The most beneficent, the most merciful. First, we have Alif Lam Mim. So nobody knows the exact meaning of Alif Lam. So these are the words which are even used in the pre-Islamic period in poetry to start a speech. So we'll not go in detail of that at the moment. We we'll just say Alif Lam Mim without any translation. Okay. Then we have Zalika. Zalika means that. Al Kitabu, the book. La mean no. Raiba mean doubt. Fi in it. Fi mean in. He mean it. Fi in it. Zalika al Kitabu la raiba. Fi That book has no doubt in it. So basically, this is to on the Holy Quran. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that this book, Holy Quran, has no doubt in it. Like, right mean doubt. Who then is guidance? Who then mean guidance? Li mean for. Li mean for. Al muttaqin mean righteous people. Or we just say muttaqi people. Who dal? Who dal? Who dal lil muttaqin? It is guidance for the muttaqi people. It is guidance for muttaqi people. That book, Holy Quran, has no doubt in it, and it is guidance for the muttaqi people. So now the question here is, where who are the muttaqi people? The answer of this question is written in the next line. Who are the Muttaki people? The definition of Muttaki people starts from Allah and it finishes here. Yes, it finishes at Yukino. So this is the meaning of Muttaki people. This is the definition of Muttaki people. So who are Muttaki people? Allah those Yukminuna who believe. Be mean in. Al Ghaib mean unseen. Those who believe in the unseen. Al Lazina, those. You mean who believe. Bil Ghaibi in the unseen. Wa and Yuki Muna, they establish. Wa Yuki Muna, and they establish as Salah, the prayer, the Salah. As you know that we have five prayers in a day. Wa yuki muna salata and they establish the salah. Wa mimma. So this is composed of two words. First word is min and second word is ma. Wa mimma and from what? Wa min and mimma from what? Razak na hum. Razak mean risk. Risk mean provision. You can also call it uh, money, wealth. So Razak mean risk, provision. Na mean us. Na mean us. Hum mean them. Razak na hum. We have provided them. Razak na hum. We have provided them. Yun fikuna they spend. Yun fikuna they spend. Wa mimma wa mimma razakna hum yun fikun. And from what we have provided them, they spend. So basically, it means they spend in the good things. They spend in the way of Allah. They give donation and alms. They spend on their family, their children, their relatives. They do good things from what Allah has given to them. 
والذين and those يؤمنون who believe بما in what بما من in what أنزل was sent down or you can say is sent down أنزل is sent down أنزل is sent down Ilaika to you. Ilaika to you. So you mean Prophet Muhammad peace upon him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying to Prophet Muhammad peace upon him that they believe in what is sent down to you. You can also say what was sent down to you. Wama <coughs> and what Unzila was sent down min kablika before you so on normal occasion min mean from but here we will not use the translation of min it because it is harfi zaida we will read about harfi zaida later min kablika before you and wama and what was sent down before you wa bil akhirati and in the hereafter wa bil akhirati and in the hereafter, whom you kinun, they firmly believe. You kinun mean they firmly believe. So first word was you minun, which means they believe, and also it means they have faith. But this word you kinun mean they have firm belief. This is more strong word. They have firm belief. وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِمَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ وَمَا أُنزِلَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ وَبِالْآخِرَةِ هُمْ يُوْكِنُونَ And they believe in what was, in what is sent down to you and what was sent down before you. And in the hereafter, they have a firm belief or they firmly believe so these are the called qualities of muttaqi people any muslim which has these qualities called muttaqi muslim muttaqi person first quality they believe in the unseen quality number one quality number two they establish the salah quality number three they spend in from what Allah has given to them. So this is quality number three. They spend in good things. Number four, quality number four, and they believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So these are four. Then number fifth, they believe in the prophets which were before Muhammad, peace be upon him. Then the last quality, they have a firm belief in the hereafter, in the next life, in the next eternal life. So these are the qualities of muttaqi people. Anyone who has these qualities will be a muttaqi person in Shahna. Next we have Ula'ika. Those are Allah on. Odan guidance min from Rabbihim dear Lord Rabbihim dear Lord those are on guidance min Rabbihim from the Lord wa and ulaika those are the one whom who are al muflihun successful Ulaika ala hudam mir rabbihim wa ulaika humul muflihun. Those are the one who are on guidance from their Lord, and those are the one who are successful. Okay, so first, Allah SWT explain the word muttaqi, then this Allah said that. Those are the ones who are the on guidance and they will be successful, which means 
Mutaki people will be successful. Now, if anyone has any question, she can ask me now. Sir. Yes. Uh, Anjata, uh, can you please translate the fourth ayah again? Okay, ayah number four. So here it is written, Wallazina and those Yu'minuna who believe. Yu'minuna who believe. Dima in what? Bima in what? Unzila was sent down. Or you can also say is sent down. Unzila is sent down. Ilaika to you. You mean Prophet Muhammad peace upon him. Ilaika to you. Wama and what? Unzila was sent down. Min kablika before you. Min kablika before you. Wa bil akhirati and in the hereafter. Wa bil akhirati in the hereafter. Hereafter means the next life. The life which start after our death, which is the next eternal life, or bil akhirati, and in the hereafter, whom they, you kinun, they have firm belief, they have a firm belief, they have a strong belief. Okay, they have a firm belief, or they believe firmly. So here it is written, and those who believe in what is sent down to you and what was sent down before you, and in the hereafter, they have a firm belief, or they believe firmly. And in the hereafter, they believe firmly. Anybody, any question? I think nobody has any question. So you all know that on Thursday and Friday we have a holiday. So our next class will be on Saturday. So inshallah see you on Saturday at the same time. And you better complete your pending homework during these two holidays. And if you have any issue, feel free to ask me on my WhatsApp number.